big horns on these things. Hello. How are you? Well, welcome back to Retired for Life. So as you saw from the last video, we got the deconstruction part of this job complete. So this video, we're gonna be focusing on rebuilding. So I've gotta figure out what's gonna go where, what pieces I can salvage, especially out of the big uh, two by six runner beams that used to run way out these walls to carry the old roof out on. And we'll see what we can come up with. So we got an awful lot of work to do and it is another blastingly hot day. So let's get to work. Okay guys, it is staggeringly hot out here. We are, uh, we're 35 degrees in the shade and I'm in on this dark colored deck basically. Uh, we spent the morning working over at uh, a neighbor's place, putting in a bunch of fence posts for her to help her with her livestock. She raises yaks <laughs> of all creatures and also a uh, Scottish cow. I've forgotten the name of now. So she has a interesting collection of creatures. I'm gonna to try to get back over there with a video camera and shoot some film of that to show it to you guys. But that was our morning and now afternoon, it's getting a late afternoon and man, it's hot. So I've got the first, I'm gonna to try to put together my extension walls here. I've got the first top and bottom two by fours here and we'll uh, figure out all the pieces that have to go in it and see if we can at least get one of these uh, walls made up before I have to pass out and uh, get out of this sun. So, if I did this right, everything I just put on should line up with the existing 2x4s. Now we're going to screw this into place, and I think we might call it quits. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do next is put up the, uh, the knee wall on the back that takes me to the seven feet. That way I've got something to fasten this to to help make sure everything stays good and steady and strong. So I've come back out to the farm where uh, we were helping put fence posts in for a corral and you can see here the yaks. Well, it looks like they've uh, decided to come over and say hello. <laughs> Big horns on these things. Hello, how are you? Hmm? Well, there's the horses and it looks like some goats too. These are some very pretty animals comes a visitor. Hi guys. How are ya? Hmm? How you doing? Hey? Oh yes, everybody wants to say hello. <laughs> hey, how are ya? Oh yes. Yes, I think I'm surrounded. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't don't lick my camera. <laughs> Okay, guys. All right, well, I think we've had our peak. And I think it's time to actually get back to work.
Let's get the ends in place and then just kind of work our way along. So I think we'll call this a day and then tomorrow morning we'll take this up and install this one and the uh, other wall, the other extension wall on the east wall of the shed. So time to get something cool to drink and we'll see you in the morning. Well, we're back out for another day and it is so much cooler out here. We didn't get any rain, uh, none of the thunderstorms that they were talking about, and that's fine. The, the big thing is the hot temperature is gone. I had kind of an interesting thing happen with the GoPro uh, last night when I was taking the footage off of this camera. You have to take the battery out just to make it easier to uh, get to the chip to pop it out. So I went to pull the battery out and I couldn't get it to come out. Uh, so I worked away at it and it started to come apart. The, it was so hot yesterday for the amount of time the camera was in the sun, which wasn't a whole lot, the uh, battery in it started to melt. So <laughs> I got it out, everything is fine. And I don't have the battery inside the camera now. I have this big supplemental battery that I use that the camera is actually sitting on. I do usually put a battery in the camera and uh, leave it in there just because it makes it easier for the uh, date staying up to date and all that kind of stuff. Um, but no battery in it now. Okay, here we go. Oh, it is very windy today. Makes this a little bit trickier. Let's start screwing this thing down. There we are at finished height on three of our walls. So that's good. It does kind of look like a Frankenstein building because of the salvage, but that's fine. Once the board and batten is on, it'll be all nice and tidy from that. Okay, guys, I'm now assembling the beam that will uh, over top of the door. Oh boy, my knees are never happy with me after these kind of jobs. So I'm going to touch this off with the planer just a little bit.
you know, I've got the tools, so <laughs> might as well use them. So the next stage of this is to uh, get our two foot long walls ready to go that this is going to sit on. So until then, we're going to call it a day and we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video. And if you have, I'd really appreciate the like and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the job. Well, there's one of the narrow walls for the door. Let's get the other one in place and then, uh, then we'll go ahead and put our beam in across the top. That is gonna be a big, big double door. So I need to make sure that these are well anchored and well secured to the beam across the top to carry that weight because uh, it will be a heavy door. Now, the fun part is going to be getting this beam up here. So, good clearance. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's get this thing fastened down. That should do okay. Well, that looks good. That's got, that's got our walls done. Yeah, we're in good shape. So the next part, I have to figure out how high of a roof I want on this thing. And uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be three feet to the peak from the top of our beams here and to, to uh, check that we're going to go back down into the shop uh, and use the shop floor like a lofting floor and lay out the uh, width and the height of the roof to see how it's going to look before we actually put anything up so a lot of figuring to go but so far, I'm pretty pleased. I, I'm a little bit concerned about how big the door is. And I think I was going to use uh, one by eights for the door, but I think I'm gonna reduce that down because of how big the door is. I'm probably going to do something smaller, like three quarter by eights or something like that uh, to uh, make the door out of which means I'll have to start the mill up, which I've got to get to soon. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you have found it uh, interesting or at the very least enjoyable. And as I said earlier, if you have any thoughts, comments, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to give the video a like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you out on the trails the next time.